Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group, and we're back here again at Dove Point Place by Richmond American Homes. Have a look around. High 60s for temperature today. If you see right across, they have the Damon with the RV parking garage. They are doing all spec homes here. Now, I do want to mention that here at the Seasons Collection, the two-story, I believe they have about five models to choose from. And then they, I think they have four models of the single stories as well. So quite a few models to choose from. I'm going to put a link below. And today we're going to be touring the Hibiscus model. 1,910 square feet. It's a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath with a two-bay garage and two-story. Today's starting price starts at $432,950. Before lot premium, before options, Builder is specking all the homes, so they'll be releasing a few for sale every month. And let's take a closer look. All pavers in the driveway. Now this is an eight foot tall door, but it is the four panel. Traditionally, I see five panels on the eight foot, but that is, it's four panel and eight foot. Got the main water line, the gas water line, hose bib, communications, 200 amp panel. That's your photo cell for your coach light, and I'll show you that next, they're gorgeous. Got the vent for your tankless hot water heater. And while we're here, let's take a quick peek out back. The hibiscus backyard, this is the season's collection two-story homes now the lot sizes are going to be around 3100 plus on the two stories it just doesn't take as big of a footprint as those single stories hoa here at dub point place is 59 dollars a month it does include two gates two parks and a dog park 203 total home sites about 70 percent sold and look at the footprint of the hibiscus so beautiful got the balcony I love that feature. If I'm getting a two-story, and in my two-stories that I've had in the past, I always had the balcony feature. Covered stuccoed patio, multiple fans, multiple lighting. Now, when you do take ownership, the backyard will be all dirt. Won't look as fancy as this. I like the lattice work. Now, I don't see any specs available right now at this minute on this model, but they will be coming up. Probably expect about 15%, 10 to 15% above the base price with a lot of premiums and everything. It is getting windy. Three to four bedrooms, two and a half bath, 19, 10 square feet. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so modern. Kind of reminds me of Halloween for some reason. Got the traditional style windows, but they are modern, low E, argon gas. Very bright on that stone. So it looks like we have side entry on the hibiscus. Eight foot red door, one porch light. Let's take a closer look. Our brown door. Welcome inside. As soon as you come around, you have your living room, kitchen, dining. Here's your entryway. So you do have the eight foot door and you kind of have the soaring ceilings. It does give you a nice feel as soon as you walk in. Chandelier lighting, open railing, beautiful. They have gone with the mission style rail in paint grade. I kind of like stain grade myself, but the paint grade's good if you ever want to change the color. Just paint over it, right? Sand it down. Orange peel texture, standard baseboards, two and three quarter. Take a look at these casings. A lot of fingerprints around the door. Coat closet. I'm ready to, to look for those cookies, though. Brush nickel hardware upgraded. And your powder. Beautiful setup. Can you say upgraded? They did pull the tile flooring as well throughout on this home. At least all downstairs is what I see. Once you get to the second floor, it doubles the price real quick. And here is the kitchen. Got a total of five LEDs, two pendant lights. I want to see, say I saw these at Richmond in North Las Vegas as well. Maybe it was like La Posada. Beautiful community over there as well. 
Same style, maybe a little bit different color. Got our standard island with sink, quartz upgrade. Minimal motion on it. I tend to like the ones with the veining and then less motion. Mare sink, Delta hardware. It's got that cyber truck esque look. Got the soap dispenser and air gap for the dishwasher. This will prevent any, if it backs up, the water comes right in the sink. They did put the standard appliances, GE, all included. And we are looking at the white cabinetry. They have upgraded it, 42 inch. Does have the traditional crown. We are cooking with the gourmet package though. So they got the built-in oven below and the cooktop. Standard comes with a range setup. GE Micro, is she venting is the question. Very good. Nice full overlay. Gotta have the handle pulls. I don't know if I would put the little pulls though, because once you go small, at least on here, you could probably still put a handle right because you have one hole. But if you do the single one on the drawer, you're always gonna have that hole in the middle. So be cautious. Stapled on, screwed on, side glides, and another bank of extra cabinetry. I like these. I feel like we always need drawers, even though on the top here, I can already see one, two, three, four, four drawers. So I see this is functional. If you had like eight or 10 drawers on top, I don't really know about adding the extra bank. Kind of have this spice rack station here in the corner. No soft clothes. They did box in the refrigerator. I like that. Fridge, washer, dryer not included. And where are those cookies? I've been searching. Any cookies in there? KB Homes has been leaving me the cookies. Can you believe it? If you guys are watching, install some cookies in these cookie storage. Now here's your living room. Four upgraded LEDs, you got the fan and light with a beautiful modern fan. And they have added the fireplace. I think this one is the gas fireplace that they use here at Richmond. Or maybe not, it, it does say heat and glow. Let's check around the side. So this one is cooking with gas. Got Smurf tubing for your TV, switch for your fireplace, and they added the whole audio system. This takes me back to when I bought my first house. Now, that's a great option if you plan to use it for like, you know, every day. Some of my clients will use it for like a whole house audio. So when you're walking around, you got the music going. Many options. They did put the mantle above the fireplace. So now that we're cooking with gas, I do, I definitely say get the mantle for your TV. You don't want to melt that TV. If you're talking about the electric, they put off heat, but I don't know. Do your own research. For sure. I like the mantle look though. It just completes the whole wall. Now when you do do the fireplace option, it comes this boxed in drywall. Wow. So this dual meat slider is the option. This is the included. Standard comes with a window in this area. But when you do the slide, you really just, you get that full length glass. So really lets that light in. Welcome home to Las Vegas. It's a beautiful day out there. I do want to mention they got the cookbook here. Do they have the cutting board? The everlasting meal book. I know on the stairs. Looks like uh, one of their standard carpetings. Let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. Total of two landings on this hibiscus. The open railing sure does change things up here having the pony wall gives you privacy but having the open railing gives you luxury got three windows chandelier lighting what a piece also want to point out on the floor when you do the open railing per code they're going to give you some electrical on the floor and your loft upgraded 12 by 24 tiles Got the sink, top mount, uppers are optional. I like them though. Washer, dryer are optional. Method, laundry detergent. 
beautiful day. Still got snow caps on the mountains. I wonder if we're going to get the caps all the way into summer. If you haven't been out here to Las Vegas, you got to come. It's, you're surrounded by mountains. Now, that is your smart panel box back there for all your modem, internet router, home automation. Some people even put like a camera audio systems in there like the DVR. Got four LEDs, a fan of light. This room's lit up here in the front. Again, you're getting getting that sunny day exposure. If it was winter time, this front room would be just a little bit darker facing north. And mirrors for days in here. Daughter would love that. Kickler switches for your fan and light. So one bedroom right in the front. You can do the fourth bedroom. I believe this loft area, you can option for the fourth, but I kind of like it as the loft. But the fourth bedroom does make it functional and resale, it definitely helps. I always think about resale because you never know how long you're gonna be in your home. Upgraded shower. Even when you plan to live there forever, sometimes things change. So I always try to think just a little bit about the future, right? More of the course from the kitchen with that movement. Again, I think I would go for like the Calcutta with the, like the veining, maybe like a minimal veining running through. It is an expense though, an upgrade. Look how cute. Eight foot doors, these are the three panel. They are modern and they look great. Bedroom number two. Nine foot ceilings upstairs. Four upgraded LEDs, fan and light. These are the cans as well, so you can actually pull out those bulbs. On a lot of the other builders, they are using like a LED actual one whole piece that goes in there, which you can just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and replace them pretty quick if you needed to. I heard these bulbs last for like maybe like 10 to 15 years or so, these LEDs. Now here is your primary bedroom. What a beauty with that balcony. Windows on each side of the bed. I had a client yesterday tell me about how they don't, she doesn't know why they put the bed on the exterior wall. I kind of like that idea because sometimes when it's cold being by the windows, but if they can convert them to like where you can put the bed on the interior, maybe even interior designers out there can shed some light on why you always see the bed on the outside wall. Love to know. Now HOA is only $59, wow, that slider is smooth. Back to the HOA, $59 a month here, no SIDS or LIDS, two parks, dog park, gated, two gates on this community. It feels great. You do have some older homes kind of nestled in the back here. And then this is all new on this side. Another beautiful backyard. That's the boxwood model. And look at those backyards on those single stories. You just get such a large yard with the single stories. They are higher in demand. They do cost a little bit more to purchase, but I feel like they're great for resale too. Such a great product, the single story. But don't get me wrong, I love my two stories. We're standing on my favorite feature, the balcony, coffee in the morning. Yeah, that slider smooth. Got some great artwork. And our bath. They went with the polished 12 by 24s. I wonder what those would look like in matte in here. They got a lot of reflection. Got your tub and shower combo, also upgraded. Now in this one, they did go with the brush nickel hardware package. So instead of chrome standard, they upgraded to the brush nickel. And then there's also the black. 12 by 24 tile, straight lace setup. They're not doing any 7030s on this one. They pulled the tile to the top. And then with this configuration with the tub, they pulled the tile all the way around. Functioning window, towel rack, not too far, right? Maybe hang the towel on the glass. That's what I would do. More quartz from the kitchen, rectangle upgrades and the Delta upgrade. I like that setup with the two lowers there, the drawers. 
pretty sweet. And it looks like Closets of Las Vegas made it into this closet as well. Built-in shoe rack, upper, lower, center, storage. Shout out to Closets of Las Vegas. They called me the other day and invited me over. I just haven't been able to make it. I got to get over there. But great team over there. Got your water closet. Looks like we have a secondary zone for uh, the primary. The secondaries, the cute storage closet. Has a pretty good feel in here, I like it. These windows never disappoint. And they had the garage open, so let's check it out. I thought I checked on it. Looks like about your standard garage, 22 by 20. Nice little niche space, your tankless hot water heater. And this one's by Ream. I love the tankless hot water heaters. This will go up to 120 max. I like plugging in the water hose here to the hose bib. Get water directly from my water heater. On this side, we have the whole house shut off and the irrigation shut off. Very cool, as, as well as your uh, pressure regulator valve. Where does this door go? All right, not a service door. This is the storage under the stairs. I forgot about this. I love it though. It could almost be your office. Maybe. Add some electrical. So what do you guys think the hibiscus model Dove Point Place Richmond American Homes if you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.